Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cbrev. Welcome to another MLB The Show 19 card review. Today we're going to be going over 96 overall signature series Raleigh Fingers. This card is obtainable in the last set of headliners packs. Um, I don't think they're in the store anymore, so pretty much the only way to get them now is off the marketplace. And he's currently selling for around 90,000 stubs. So uh, my opinions of this card are pretty straightforward. I used the 89 overall Raleigh Fingers for most of the year on both accounts because that card was a beast and obviously this card is just a better version of that. Um, this card is easily a tier 1 reliever in my opinion, although I do think he's on the bottom uh, end of tier 1 and I'll explain why for a couple reasons. Uh, this card is pretty much exactly a carbon copy of his 89 overall but with better per 9s. Um, he does throw slightly harder, his sinker can get up to 97 I saw, um, so pretty good stuff obviously. Um, the fork ball is really unique. I mean, you guys know about Raleigh Fingers. He's just good. <laughs> um, he's just not as dom completely dominant as someone like Kenley Jansen. And I think that the reason is that people have seen him for so long. So my opinion on this could be wrong because I pretty much exclusively play against good players. Um, if you play on the lower difficulty, I'm sure this card will just mess some people up. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of people in the 5 and 600s that would not even be able to make contact with this card, just being honest. Um, his stuff is that nasty. And if you didn't know, his delivery is a little glitched out of his hand. The ball doesn't come out exactly where his release point is from the hitter's perspective. So that's kind of nice and cheesy. Um, but the main issue I had using this card is that I think a lot of people have gotten a lot of reps against this card. It's another reason why I don't think Goose Gossage is as good as he once was, is because people have just faced Raleigh Fingers for seven months now. Um, and I think people kind of get a tendency on um, pitching tendencies, I guess. Uh, people kind of get cues on where you're going to go. Um, it's pretty easy to sit on the fork ball uh, if you're not behind in the count, so getting ahead in the count is really important. Uh, but don't let you let it knock away from the fact that this card is amazing and definitely a tier 1 reliever. Um, he's just not up there in the tier 1A is what I'm trying to say. But definitely a guy that can get it done without question. Um, something I haven't seen a lot of people talk about is the 37 stamina that he has. That's actually pretty high for a reliever. It's the same as Dennis Eckersley. Um, and so if you have Eckersley and Fingers in your bullpen, you have the potential to get a lot of longevity out of your relievers um, in situations that you need it. So these guys can throw two to three innings for you without getting into the yellow if you're managing your pitch count correctly. About 35 pitches is when they start to get into the yellow energy. So super useful. Um, definitely a card that you can just pound the strike zone with and get um, some outs. I love this card. Don't let what I said earlier knock it down, like I said. Um, and this card is really good and definitely worth the price in my opinion. So as always we'll rate the card how he rates in the meta and we'll rate him compared to how much he costs. How he rates in the meta I'll give him an A. Like I said easily tier 1 should definitely be in your bullpen if you can make it happen. And for the price I'll give him an A- minus because 90k is kind of a lot. Uh, but compared to some of the other guys uh, like Kenley, he's a little cheaper than Kenley, but I think Kenley's better. Um, and someone like Wade Davis is probably on the same power level of this guy, and he's free. So I'd knock him down just a couple pegs for price, but uh, I still think 90k for a card like this is worth it. So I hope you all enjoyed this card review. Let me know down in the comment section below who you want me to review next. Enjoy the clips after this, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. First pitch coming here. There for strike one. Nope. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. Mays, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. One ball, Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. He's gone, the one, two. Runners on the move for second. Swing and a miss, strike three, the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. So a runner at second, two down now, and set to stand in the legendary free swinger Vladimir Guerrero. One and oh, the count. Fouled off. Two out here and a runner at second. And he misses two and one. And he fouls this one off. 
sinker. Three and two now. Eddie Murray would be next. A swing and a miss at a sink. One for three Kipper. thus far. Jones. Fingers looks in. Here's the first pitch. And a foul tip held on to here at strike one. Oh and two to the Hall of Famer Chipper Jones. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach? You know, got him looking. And another shot now. Andre Dawson. A line out and a ground ball for an out on his line so far. One ball, no strikes to count. Swing and a miss for strike one. Cobb on second. Sanchez at first with no out. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And he indeed takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. 